century, we believed that avoiding bacteria or removing them from our bodies and our environment was the right way to stay healthy. But now we understand that bacteria, they're everywhere, and they can actually do us a lot more good than harm. And it's just as well because we have more bacteria on just one fingertip than there are people living in all of Britain. So, oh, sorry. There are trillions of bacteria living on and inside of us in communities that we call microbiomes. The largest community lives at the very end of our digestive tract in our gut. And just a warning here, I work on the gut microbiome, which means that I'm going to stand here and literally talk crap. <laughs> so, how much should we care about these freeloading critters living in our guts? Well, it turns out a lot. Our gut bacteria exist in this delicate balance of beneficial and harmful types and they play a huge role in the normal functioning of our body, our nutrition and health, and even help to regulate our immune system. Because of this, there's massive interest in pushing the balance in favour of these beneficial populations. For some time, we've known that different diets create different microbiomes, and this is why we're also interested in prebiotics. Now, these are complex carbohydrates, or sugars, that we don't digest ourselves, so they reach the lower gut, where they can be used as a food source by our beneficial gut bacteria. So during my PhD, I asked whether honey could be a prebiotic. And you might not immediately think so, because honey is made up mostly of simple sugars, fructose and glucose, which we absorb in the body way before they could even reach our gut bacteria. But I was looking at the complex sugars in these Australian honeys to see if they could be prebiotics. In an artificial gut system in the lab, I found that all of these honeys boost the numbers of the beneficial bacteria, which then stop the growth of these harmful ones. And the bacteria also started making beneficial compounds, like butyrate, which helps to protect against colon cancer, one of the leading cancer killers worldwide. Now, I know it all sounds great in theory, but how does it translate in real life? And does it mean we need to eat buckets of honey to see these benefits? To find out, I conducted a human clinical study where we had 50 participants eating honey for a month while I looked at the changes in their gut populations. And I found, for the first time, that just 20 grams of honey, roughly a tablespoon a day, was enough to make positive changes. The wrong balance in our microbiome is implicated in many pathologies, including bowel diseases, allergy, obesity, and even mental health issues. So changing these populations can have extensive health benefits. The direct impact from my research has been a world-first prebiotic honey, which is registered as a therapeutic agent in Australia. So, to keep your microbiome sweet, just treat it with some honey. <laughs>